in today's video, we're gonna be taking this man-made contraption and dropping it all the way down 400 feet to the bottom of the Great Belize Blue Hole out at Lighthouse Reef Atoll and showing you guys some of the crazy islands that are located over there. So stay tuned till the end, because this is gonna be a fun one. First though, what is Lighthouse Reef Atoll? The Lighthouse Reef Atoll is an atoll, one of the many atolls that we have. Uh, we have three atolls, as you can see in Belize, and it's one of the farthest atolls out, it's about 57 miles out. To get to uh, Lighthouse Reef, you gotta go through Turner first. All right, yeah, turn up is probably like about one hour, 15, one hour and a half, and then probably another hour to the, to the, to the Lighthouse Reef where the Blue Hole is at. What is amazing of this particular atoll is because it offer a diverse activity in the area. If you want to snorkel, you can snorkel in the inner part of the lagoon. If you want to scuba dive, you can scuba dive on the walls around the atoll. With the two and a half hour ride journey ahead of us, we have to get up at about 5.30 a.m. to make it on time, especially considering not only are we trying to drop our camera into the blue hole, we're also trying to see the rare red-footed booby bird, which only breeds in two locations in the world, and one of them happens to be Lighthouse Reef Atoll. And we're just getting the boat all organized up here. So Robert should have all the cameras packed. Robert, say what up. Got it. That's the top of Robert's head. <laughs> Morning. There's Layla. Let me introduce you to who's going to be taking us over to the blue hole. We got Will. And we got Mr. Jesus. As you guys can see now, we're going into a bit of rain. We're about to cut through Turnip, and actually last time we came out here with Jiggin, the exact same thing happened. How you feel? <laughs> yeah. This is a good time to mention before we get hit by rain that our merch is now, some of our merch is now live at willmitchellbelize.com. We get the chewy rain jackets. Go check it out, guys. A few moments later. We're fully getting rained on out here. Our first stop is Long Key after making it through the rain. Long Key is about three miles long by two miles wide. It's one of the larger islands in the atoll and it's really known for its beautiful dive site, the aquarium. And Long Key has actually the only two active resorts within the atoll here. So you've got number one, it's a resort where we're at right now and then Huracans. So two options here. We're not talking about five star, but if you want to do something a little more upscale than camping, which we're going to be doing, then this is the play. And so much wildlife around here. It's beautiful. Now we're at the aquarium, and this is one of the biggest attractions of Lighthouse Reef Atoll. So we're off the coast of Long Key, which is one of the southern keys over here on the atoll. And the, the region around this area is called the aquarium. So let's jump in and show you guys. So we're now at Hat Key, the next key in our island tour here through the atoll. And we couldn't get the boat in because we don't really know the area very well. But Lalo and I jumped off and we actually looks like we're gonna get a little bit of a real estate tour here. As there is a, a single family home behind me. Looks like it is a bit of a fixer upper, but the bones look pretty good. And uh, yeah, any, anyone interested, as always, we'll put my email up at the top here. So Hat Key is one of the lesser known islands in the atoll here. And interestingly enough, it appears to be surrounded by conch shells in so many different areas. And this is all around the island here. We gotta keep going. Next up, we're gonna take you over to Half Moon Key. But Hat Key, really neat little half acre island and an integral part of our tour of the atoll here. Now we're at Half Moon Key and we got the Turniff Island Resort guys yeah. out here. Whoop, whoop. I'm JB, Spanx, Chris. So Half Moon Key has a lot of different stuff to explore. And it's also where we're going to be camping tonight. 
The wildlife all around this place is everywhere. You have everything from the turtles to the crabs to the birds. This is a bird sanctuary as well. I just heard from the guys that apparently there are hundreds of red-footed booby birds at the end of the trail. And we gotta be quiet because I think I just found one right here. <laughs> the red-footed booby bird. They're kind of seasonal from what I understand. So we gotta start being quiet now because this is Lalo's spirit animal, the red-footed booby bird. Boobies. His spirit animal. <laughs> Here's the viewing tower. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Oh. Boobies everywhere. stopping for the mission. We're about to go put the GoPro in the blue hole right now. Let's get it. All right, we got the moment of truth here. Jesus is putting a knot together. And we're at the entrance to the blue hole here. So we're gonna drop this in. Is it recording? <laughs> Triple check. We're recording. <laughs> Oh shoot! Bringing her up. <laughs> We're gonna try the edge because in the middle there's not a lot there. All the uh, activity should be around the coral reef. And this time, Lelo and I are gonna lifeguard this. We've got a pirate here. You came to my ship, and now we're gonna find the golden treasure of black. What was the last name? Black Bill. <laughs> Switching out of the pirate suit. Lifeguard's going in. Let the journey begin and all the pressure had mounted. And when I say pressure, I mean pressure on our camera, which was making me worried that it was gonna explode. But you can see a lot of really cool stuff on the wall of the blue hole as we descend here. Now, one thing we didn't calculate for was the fact that our contraption would continue to spin. So next time when we go back, we're gonna bring an underwater drone, but just seeing the fish there and everything was phenomenal and beautiful. Let's play it for a minute here and you guys can enjoy this adventure to the bottom of the blue hole. <laughs> 